Hello my lovely people, I am back with a makeup tutorial today, it's a full face makeup tutorial. If you want to see how I create this full face makeup inspired by Azaria, so if you want to follow her socials I'll put them down below for you guys to check out. She's from Wales, so I guess she's, in, she's a UK fam isn't she? But yeah this is her look that she did, absolutely stunning, absolutely beautiful, I was like Ooh. So I'm going to do this eye on camera, this one for TikTok. So I'm going to start off with the P. Louise um, base. I haven't used this in a very long time. Just because my eye reaction last year, I was like, mm, I don't know if this is making me react. Well, it's been a long time since I've used this P. Louise base. I'm just going to go underneath the brow. The Molly O'Brien M02 brush. And I kind of just, just gently tap it, just to blend it all out. This is the eye makeup we're copying. Hopefully mine turns out as good as that. So I'm going to take my Morphe M506 brush, take about which is that really dark purple. So I'm going for a rounded look so I'm just going to start off in the middle. Look how dark that purple is. Like appreciate the darkness of that purple. It's actually quite bluey as well. So I'm just going to make sure that I'm not rushing this basically. But yeah, I've definitely been feeling more into makeup now that I'm just fully focusing on this. So like I don't have, well technically I'm not really working at the moment, I'm working Instagram and YouTube full time until the whole, you know what I mean, until it all blows over in the UK. I'm on my no buy for makeup and literally Doll Beauty had a sale on today. I was like, are you actually kidding me? It's not on anymore, I don't think, because by the time I upload this video, it'll, pro it'll probably be gone. But yeah, I am really grateful for like everything I get in the post and stuff. And am getting to work with brands, and this is becoming my job very slowly. Like, I've just been listening to Kyra. I don't know how to pronounce, why do I not know how to pronounce anybody's name? You've probably seen her before. Like, she does like a lot of TikToks, like she's grown through TikTok and stuff. She talks a lot about, oh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be this, I'm gonna be this, like, you have to like, kind of talk it into existence, so. This is my job. See? <laughs> Let me go back on what she's used, because I'm like, my brain just doesn't work sometimes. Hi babes, I'm just recording a YouTube video, and I'm so bad at pronouncing people's names, so just send me a little voice note of how you pronounce your name, because I, honestly, I am literally so bad at it. I'm doing that look that um, I asked you about yesterday, that's why I want to know how to pronounce your name by the way. I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even buddy <laughs> explain that part. Trapeze, so trapeze is, oh, oh that's quite purple. I don't know in, in that photo she took it looked like quite um, red. So trapeze is that purple there. And then I'm just gonna literally go right on top, but a little bit higher, but I'll start. <gasps> why has that got glitter in it? <gasps> you ruined my eye, well you haven't ruined my eye makeup, but there's glitter in my crease and that's not really where I want it. Oh that purple looks amazing. These two colours together are actually really nice. Do you know what, I am such a sucker for my bluey toned purples. Like, this is quite neutral, this purple. And I bloody love it. Oh my god, this, and then that lilac from the palette that's matte, blended out, oh, I need to do that. Oh, she's seen it. <laughs> um, and she takes Giggles, so the orange. Where the hell's Giggles? Oh, it's right in front of my eyes. <laughs> so Giggles is this one up here. The Molly O'Brien XM05 brush. God, this is going to go patchy. I know it's going to patch it for a second, but just trust the process. Right, just trust the process. Don't come for me in the comments. Just trust it. I don't know if it, it's patchy that. <laughs> I know, it's going to be two seconds to blend it and it'll be fine. I like this vibe though, it's giving me. But just ignore the blend for now. Has she replied? Yes, she has. Oh my god, that's so funny. Everyone to ask me how to say my name. <laughs> but um, you say Azaria or you can say Zara for short, if that's easier. But Azaria. <laughs> Such a sweetheart, bless her. Oh, thanks, babe. I know, honestly, no, I am so bad with pronouncing people's names. I can't even. It's like Kaylee. You know, Kaylee who does Cash Beauty. I said Keely. I was like, and then someone put in the comments, it's, it's, is this how you pronounce it? I was like, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for <laughs> getting back to me so quick. 
So I mean, I get very happy when I talk to my people. It's the people's person. Uh, I'm going to take a little bit of Freak Show. So a little bit of that there. I'm going to put that in between the, the purple and the orange. Just because I know that the, that'll make it blend just a tiny bit easier. But everywhere has different tweaks. And because I brought the purple up so much, it'll be harder for me to blend out. Because she took it a little bit lower, but I've got such a big bloody eye, haven't I? <laughs> I was used. To, I'm always used to taking it up higher, basically. Yeah, she used Cirque, so Cirque is a more orangey yellow. I love an orangey yellow. You can see that one's like really yellow, and that one's just like my just a my cup of tea. Oil Brown X M O One brush, and just go on the edges again of the last colour. Oh, this is so much higher up than hers. For God's sake! Oh well, it's fine. We're doing the blend by hand way. It's fine. She's cut hers, oh she's so stunning, oh. she's cut hers completely like over it, so like all the lid. So, cut and crease, I use my little bamboo cotton buds, my Nivea Glow Shake It Up Remover. The important thing is getting the shape right, if you get the shape wrong, that's it. I take my P. Louise times my Mitchell blank canvas and then fill it in. Look how precise that is. This is so satisfying to watch. You don't need much on your lid. Oh, so she says she used Fire Breather, but there's this Dirty Circus here, and I'm like, oh, I want to use Dirty Circus though. But it looks like she's used Dirty Circus on her lid. Might have a mixture of both. With the Dirty Circus colour, like I said, so that one there, and then I can mix it with a dark one if it doesn't look right. I'm just going to pop this on. Oh, this is actually like really nice. I don't really use these like kind of colours though, like I said. My purples, my oranges, but not this kind of combination. So I'm going to go off camera, put the lashes on, do this eye, and I'll be right back. So I'm back with lashes on and eyeliner. I just put the Maybelline gel liner on. Everything I've used will be in the description box below. I'm trying to say things too quickly as per usual. The lashes I've got on are the Eye Candy London. This is what it looks like. I was kindly sent these. Um, these are the Demi and Ar Aria. Aria, I'm not too sure how to pronounce that. So, Max Strobe Cream, I've got back into this again. This is in Peach Light. I just love it because it's so shiny. Oh my god, that spot is killing me. Do you know when you got like an underneath skin spot? An under skin spot, there we go, Hannah. Oh, it's killing me, that spot. Oh, my hair looks weird there because it's bumping up because, well, I don't really know. I've just straightened my hair, but I've, I'm just a very aggressive sleeper, you know? I wake up and my hair's everywhere, even if I've like, straightened it the night before. My hair's just like, very <laughs> angry with me. It was the NARS foundation. Normally if I'm using a cheap foundation, I use the Primark one, but I'm gonna use my expensive stuff today. And because it's too dark for me at the moment, even with my fake tan on, I put some fake tan on last night. I was like, come on. <laughs> I want tan Hannah back. Um, the Ordinary Foundation, this is a serum one, and this is in, so that one's Stromboli, and then this colour is 2.0 Neutral. Mix this on the back of my hand. I mix in that serum foundation in with it because it just thins it out a little bit. That's a really good co colour match as well. Yeah, the tones in this um, NARS foundation is really nice, I love the colour Stromboli. But I do need to get a lighter one, but I'm on a nail buy for makeup. If you didn't know, from everybody talking about it, I can buy makeup from March. So I've got another, it's almost been two months now. So I think I'm doing good. This is just the part where I go quiet because it's so satisfying to watch. There you go, a nice tan colour. To be fair, I think it's a tiny bit too dark still, but we're going to conceal. So that's fine. I love wearing a white top as well, it makes me feel even more tanned. It's tantastic. <laughs> What's that from Tantastic? Is that Tango? I mean, I don't want like a tango bottle, the drink. Yeah, you know what I mean. This is more like a natural tone. This is the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use concealer. I need to get this in like a dark shaped contour and see how it goes. I put this in all the areas to highlight. Use the opposite side of the sponge. And then go right up into the corner of the eye. Right underneath. I don't put too much concealer on. I feel like ever since I've watched that TikTok thing saying you can give yourself a facelift by putting less concealer on, I'm like, oh my god. 
me please. Now that that's all blended out, I will go in with my Catrice True Skin High Coverage Concealer. This is in Neutral Ivory. This is number two colour. So I'm just going to put that right. I'm going to put that right there. A little bit there. So I'm going to take a little brush for this part. This is in Peach Sun Cream PC30. And I'm just going to softly pat that into the skin. I just want it to be specifically in this area. Time to cream contour. I'm going to say powder then. Do you know what I like? The amount of times I've bloody powdered and then I'm like, oh no, I can't put cream contour on now. Bloody nightmare. But I know some people put cream blush on after they've powdered and I'm like, what? Oh, is that a thing? If I get a disco patchy on me. I'll just do a little, little circle. The Molly O'Brien P um, MO15 brush. I'm just going to tap this in. I'm just tapping it in because I don't want it to move about my buddy foundation art row. Um, and I'm kind of like going to go a little bit more up in fact. I keep forgetting to do my contour a little bit higher. Pouncing this in to the skin. And get it in the hairline as well because you know when you've got like a little bit of hairline showing and it's pale. It's not cute. So I'm just patting it in again. And I'm being really soft. It doesn't sound like I'm being really I feel like I can hear it going. Like, I'm like, I am being soft though. Because the PC30 brush, I didn't realise I had two of these. I just took one from my makeup kit because obviously I'm not like working on my clients at the moment. So I thought, oh, I'll just use my stuff from my kit. I never do that. It's desperate times. <laughs> this looks so weird. I'm very messy when I do this. I kind of like try to contour my nose, but. I don't contour my nose. It's time to powder. I can't wait to powder. So I'm going to use the Laura Mercier powder. Mm. It just went all over my bloody joggers and the black and you know what happens when you put white on black? It just shows up straight away. See MAC 133? Yeah. Like a little tiny brush like that. It's the softest brush ever. Again, they don't, don't do this anymore. They do it in synthetic but like it's just not the same. Pat that on. Do you know when people use like this powder? I'm like, they must use a goddamn lot because I think I'm using a lot and this doesn't look like hardly anything compared to what people use. Look crazy. So bronzer, I like to go in with a little bit of a lighter bronzer than a darker bronzer. So the bronzer I'm going to go in with is the Milani Dolce Baked Bronzer from Tarte. The Lumi Cosmetics brush. Love this brush. It's such a good like big brush. And these are synthetic as well. Like they're definitely not natural hair. They don't feel like natural hair anyway. Like this is just so nice. But it's on really quick as well. Just easy. Lovely. So that's that. And then I a little bit of contour. This is the Primark. This is literally a quid bronzing powder in Fearless. They've got four colours in this. This is the, like the lightest one I think. But I just want this to add a little bit of depth. It's on the out corner there. You see what I mean? Like the difference. DB1 Doll Beauty brush. I love these brushes as well. They're like the Doll Beauty brushes are really like good sizes. Look a good pick. I don't know if these. I think these are goat hair. Oh, like just natural hair. Anyway, I don't think they're synthetic. They don't feel synthetic at all. That's done. I'm gonna wipe off this powder underneath my eyes. I don't like to keep it on for long. Oh, it does look really nice though when you wipe it off. But when I wipe it off, I like make sure I'm really wiping it off. And like, and there's like residue of it still on my skin. I'm like, oh, get it off. So we're gonna spray some setting spray on. This is the Il Maquillage Hydrate. What? This is the Il Maquillage Hydrate in Setting Spray. Mm. It's such a nice mist. So I'm going to pop the black in the waterline. Oh, I don't know if I want to put black in now. I mean, my eyes are really small. Fine, I'll put it in. <laughs> just having a conversation in my head to myself. <laughs> Maybelline gel liner. I'm just going to pop that in the waterline. Oh, it's tickly. Can I like be messy with it? Oh my god. I like the vibe, but I'm like also like. 
Better Clean Brush. This is the Molly O'Brien M021 brush. And then anything that's fallen down underneath, I'm buffing that back and forth. Because in the photo she didn't have hardly anything on. Same to this. I like to use gel liner on my waterline. A lot of people do this. Because it, it just stays there, it smudges it onto the skin a little bit while you're doing that. And then when you're taking this brush it just makes your life a lot easier then. I've got long bottom lashes but I've got a lot. I'm going to take a doll beauty brush again. This is the DB2 brush. This is a MAC blush in Telling Glow. Oh my god I love this. Looks really really ridiculously orange but as you can see it goes on very slowly so it looks lovely. Oh how pretty that looks. I love a good peach coral blush. I love this highlighter. It's such a nice wearable highlighter. So it's not very Instagrammy in your face but it's very like wearable basically. So this is the Jolie Beauty Dreaming Highlight. This is the second skin that they do. And they are vegan and cruelty free which is amazing. So I don't want to say, it's, it's amazing, it's amazing, there we go, that's fair. So I'm going to take a, a little bit of that on a My Kitco 1.7 brush and literally just slowly start working it in. I'm obviously so, don't go on my top, don't go on my top, it's why. But when I'm wearing a white top I feel like I just spill everything and I'm like no, not today. Brows, I'm going to use... I've got my box and I haven't got the product I've asked. The Be Perfect Instructed Brow Lock and Load. This is brand new, they've just launched this. So, I actually got gifted this. Thank you guys at Be Perfect. This is a little brush that comes with it. Obviously, I don't have the brush line because mine are stuck down. Well, they've got to be glued. Okay. So, it comes with a gel at the bottom and then the top is an eyeshadow. Like that. I think I should have gotten it a little bit darker though. But we'll try it in my brows today and see what it looks like. Let's have a look. I'm just doing little hair strokes. It's very creamy, so it's easier to work with. Some, some brow gels are very sturdy, and I'm just like, oh, there's too much wax in it. But it's not ridiculously pigmented to wear. Oh, I look, oh. I'll use the powder next time. I don't want to use them together, because I know you can use the powder at the beginning, but I'm a very, like, brow gel more than powder person, because I, I like to control my products. But that's just easier for me. Oh. I really want to use Bronx. By Mac, I love this look. Like. This is um, Cork by Mac. I feel like I need to go for a warm nude as well. Okay, so I'm gonna fill that in a little bit on the sides as well. I'm gonna go straight in with Bronx. It's a very matte kind of colour. Oh, this is not warm as I thought it would have been. Mm, is it girl? I think that girls. Oh my god. Wait. <laughs> So I've reacted there. I'm going to get a little bit of foundation and sort these lips out. Okay, so I went off screen, I put a black t-shirt on, earrings, and I changed my hair colour with a Lily Bell's ponytail because I wasn't feeling the blonde next to this look. So I'm like, the eyes are very dark. I think it's because I have black in this part here. And it's dark on top as well, so I'm like, money dark hair. Hope you found it entertaining. If you did, give it a thumbs up down below. Definitely go follow Azaria on, I hope I'm saying that right, by the way, <laughs> on Instagram and YouTube. Go check her out down below. I'll put her links. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching, like I said. And if you want to see more of my little face, big face, um, subscribe down below. Thank you guys for watching. I shall see you guys in my next one. Thank you, Lord, for all you do for me, for all you done for me, for how you love me.